Hello and welcome to Expression Personal Tarot. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. How cool. We're going to go ahead and try to keep a little bit more time because I get so carried away with you, Aries Collective. So let's see what Spirit has in store for Aries. All right, Aries, we're still in the month of August. Nearing the end, what does spirit have to say for the collective? Okay. We have the Page of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles here. So we could be dealing with an Aquarius as well as a Capricorn, Saturn energy here. With the Page of Swords, you're dealing with a very young energy, possibly um, there's a younger energy around you that doesn't quite understand what is going on. Maybe this is a child in your life. This could be an idea that you have. Some of you could have a little bit of brain fog at this time as well. I'm also seeing here with the Three of Pentacles, there's something here where you're able to basically, sh something that you're doing, it you really have taken charge, responsibility, But overall, with the Six of Swords here, there is still some kind of thought process here with the Page of Swords that you don't know how to get out what you feel. You really need to change the way that you think. Some of you could have heavy Capricorn in your chart as well. So where a lot of people are looking at you to see if maybe you would resort to some kind of like past here. So we have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. So in the past, this could have been a marriage. You were thinking of marriage. And overall, uh, it looks like you are moving on from a situation. With the Page of Swords, it's a very carefree kind of attitude here. The Three of Pentacles, there's something that you have been working on. It gives you a chance to show off in the present moment. What do we have overall? Right, we have Temperance here, as well as the Ten of Pentacles. So overall, I see a lot of you trying to like rush things because of an outcome that you want, specifically. There's a whole lot of Pentacle energy here, so... Overall, I this is regarding a partnership of some kind and something just did not add up here. There's no healing the situation. I see that you're you're losing faith regarding a partnership. Overall, you're here, you're you're tired of putting in Spirit is saying right now it's a time of 
just temperance. Think about it. You, you need to temper the situation. You, When you can overcome the feeling of it, then you can push forward into whatever direction that you want to close out this cycle with. But at the same time, do not lose faith in humanity. Don't give up. Take care of yourself. But overall here with the star, some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius, but there's some kind of judgment here. And some of you really have to look within with the artist here. The artist is definitely saying, listen to the things that are around you right now. Listen to what people are saying before you make any kind of decision. You'll be glad that you did. When you, when you have patience, remember patience is a virtue. So with the star judgment and the artist, it is time to basically sit back, maybe write your plans down on paper, draw what you want the outcome to be, but don't necessarily like lose it because it's, it's not in front of you. And it's just very important to just, like I said, look what the things around you are telling you. And again, with the two of wands here. So with the judgment, the artist and the two of wands here, it definitely is about uh, planning at this, this moment. And you'll be glad that you did come um, next Saturday, which let me see on the calendar is the 27th. So I would definitely say closer to the 27th, you want to push forward with um, anything regarding a situation that you're very unsure about here. Um, any arguments, any conflict, stubborn energy that is here. Uh, there could be younger energies involved here as well. Do not uh, make a spontaneous trying to be ambitious, successful kind of thing at this time. So we have Libra energy here. Justice. Spirit's trying to balance out a situation, possibly, that... And I also see as well, if there's like an ending right now, it is kind of like hold in there because... Here as well, I see maybe even someone younger here with the full justice, the full uh, Libra Aries energy coming together here. Uh, spirits trying to balance things out for you. I'm almost seeing like Morton salt. If you have like um, salt, like a blue salt with the with the umbrella on it, that could be significant as well. But with the Six of Pentacles, there's a lot of generosity here. So, um, maybe you're noticing, uh, you could be dealing with the Virgo or something, but there's something with the Virgo where they have, like, someone ghosted you, blocked you here with the Six of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. So, I feel at some point, they're... There's some kind of earth energy that does not give give to you. With the Seven of Cups here, the Devil and the Emperor. I'm feeling for some of you, there's some options here for you in the present moment and you're just so confused. Please plan before you take any action. 
I see Capricorn energy, the Emperor Capricorn rising energy here, Saturn energy right behind the Emperor. I feel like there's some kind of reptilian spirit as well. Some of you could uh, like reptiles. The Seven of Swords and uh, the Four of Wands here, I'm really saying that you have put in a lot of energy. I feel a lot of sorrow here regarding a situation within an Aquarius. The Knight of Swords uh, could be Year of the Horse. I'm seeing somewhat of some kind of sorrow here with the Four of Swords. There's some kind of stagnation here in the Nine of Wands. Some of you could be feeling like you're a little bit crazy or someone is calling you crazy at this time. I understand I am just reading the cards for how I see it here. With the Page of Wands here, you are very ambitious and you know your worth, but with the Queen of Cups in reverse, it does make you really sad that that possibly the people around you with the Hierophant, maybe a whole crowd did uh, not necessarily like you too, too much. Here with the Well in reverse, they, they said that you were things, maybe they didn't even give you a chance, but there's, there's some way, somehow, that there was a situation where the whole um, crew, more or less, um, was compromised and they did not look at you um, the best. With the Ten of Swords here, I'm going to let you know that this is something where you can learn from a situation. But overall, we have Gemini energy, Ten of Swords, and the Lovers. Like I said, when one door closes, another one does open here with the Lovers card. Very, very beautiful. So I feel that maybe someone might have maybe a dream or something regarding um, you, Aries, here. Uh, Mercury energy here, uh, King of Wands here, Leo energy, Three of Wands. So I feel as if there's a, just a partnership that has to close out. Um, <clears throat> there's some kind of communication, some kind of connection here with the King of Wands and the Three of Wands, like love at first sight here. And I feel just by the even thought of that, someone or maybe even you, Aries, um, with the Five of Cups here, it really hurts the idea of maybe your partner um, trading you in or anything like that. Uh, for some of you, you could be having thoughts like uh, maybe you aren't worth it. I feel like that's more attached to the devil and something that happened to you when you were really young with the Five of Pentacles. It's a way of... of um, I feel some of you have had maybe a, a life of neglect somehow or where your mother maybe um, felt like she was really lonely all the time and she was really unhappy in the relationship with maybe your father. And um, I see maybe you have a brother here as well. Um, but overall, your mother was really very, was nurturing and it was very hard for you to see um, this growing up. So as a man for some of you, um, with the King of Wands energy here, stepping up into your power and stuff, you come from a place where you don't want to feel like you did at one time. And uh, you know that with the ten of wands here there's some kind there's some kind of burden that is that is on your shoulders and aries we have the hangman in reverse maybe someone is saying um to a pisces scorpio um the nine of pentacles that everything is going to be fine we have the two of swords here the nine of pentacles the two of swords and the nine of swords so if you I see some of you trying to work on like a plan of some kind, a retirement plan, like a vineyard, um, a garden, um, a project of some kind. And it's like you keep the blindfolds on. And also I'm seeing as well that some of you could wear a sleeping mask. It might benefit you at night. The Nine of Swords, I feel some of you fear that you're going to be laughed at. And it really does hurt with people's opinions here with the Five of Wands. The Magician, you 
your self-worth at this time might be somewhat compromised as well with the nine of cups in reverse so 999 and then the strength in reverse as well i think some of you become really hard on yourself when you're not able to actually live up to the life that you want we have the ace of swords in reverse that's almost like living a lie or living a life that you really don't want with the Knight of Pentacles, I see that maybe you put in too much, but there's a lot of stubborn energy here of wanting to even do anything. It's almost as if you're you're willing to say, you know what, it's over so I can move on. And it's it's slow, but you if this is the case with you, you do need a plan. Okay, you need a plan before um, and you need to take the blindfolds off during the day or during um, times of any kind of stressors. But if there's no open communication and no honesty about really how you feel, it's always going to keep going on and on. And Aries, I'll be honest with you, and with any sign, you don't need anybody. You don't need their money, and you don't need, like, their things to be beautiful and be who you are. If you struggle, you struggle, but at least you're noble because you're doing it by yourself. And, and that's that's something that I guess um, it's beauty all by itself. It's strength, you know. So with the Eight of Swords, the Tower, and the Ace of Wands, there is some kind of opportunity that you lost. With the Chariot, there's some kind of car here or something like that. But someone uh, could have Cancer heavy in their chart. It does seem as if someone is moving on alone here. The Page of Cups, you could be dealing with the Pisces, the Eight of Cups here. There's someone that really just overly thinks about a situation. So if that is you right now, you really overly think about a situation and then you kind of jump into that King of Swords where you're like you, you're like, it's not going to be like that. But you are living this kind of life. And whenever you come to that realization, we had that Three of Swords, that pain that hits you with the four of pentacles here and the queen of swords i feel as if you feel like um you're trying to hold on to every like penny that you have and it's only going to go this way and marriage needs to be like this but that's where um the world comes in reverse here and things become very un because it's unrealistic it's not going to work out that way. So somebody really needs to realize something before they actually lose the one that they were supposed to be with. We have the Ace of Cups here in reverse. There's something here with the Hermit in reverse that it, it really stings. But with that Wheel of Fortune that comes out um, with the King of Cups, you're going to be surprised at how you're going to run right into your Divine Counterpart. We have the King of Cups and the Empress here as well as the seven of wands so i feel someone's going to come in and stand up for you with the queen of wands here in reverse i also feel that possibly at this time even though you you might have a lot of strong opinions and there's people that that you just you you really don't want in your business with the seven of wands and the queen of wands there's there's something where you're not going to have it you're not going to have it. The King of Cups and the Empress here going against the Seven of Wands and the Queen of Wands in reverse. I, I just, I feel like whatever somebody is trying to pull the Wheel of Fortune um, with you, it's not going to go very well. With the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, there is a partnership here with the Knight of Cups um, and the Sun that is um, going to make you very happy. There's possibly a date or something that you might be offered here with the moon card. And it just might have you uh, turning around, possibly somebody wanting to work with you here with your business. We have the three of cups as well here. So we have the seven of pentacles and the three of cups. So a lot of you are moving on alone. And I think that you, you're okay with that. With the two of pentacles here, there's a way of... Um, meditating right now might really work for you as well um with the two of pentacles and the page of pentacles i i feel that someone 
is going to grace you with something. It's going to be very, it's going to be a gift. It's going to lead to that 10 of cups overall. And you're going to be quite happy in that partnership again. So we do have uh, Scorpio energy here in reverse and the high priestess in reverse. So some of you regarding a partnership, you you keep going through the same thing over and over again because you're not learning something. I also feel like in your relationship, you feel maybe you've been cheated on with the high priestess here and the six of wands. Um, the eight of pentacles as well as the knight of wands in reverse there's something where um you're not using your intuition and you're still trying to be successful and show off somewhat and with the knight of wands in reverse i i don't think that you're going to be giving into a situation or a partnership anymore that keeps that keeps you pretty much stuck with that four coin position There's something where you just, something's just not adding up and just overall, I mean, with temperance here, spirits, spirits saying, let me handle things, let me handle things, All right? I feel that there's somebody who's going to be wiser um, that's going to come in and possibly help help someone understand you a little bit better. That because there's someone around you that uh, adores you, but they just don't understand. So I feel Aquarius energy here, uh, Saturn energy. Jupiter energy here uh, very strongly this week coming up. Um, I'm seeing also love at first sight for some of you coming up this week as well. It's crazy beautiful energy. Oh, I didn't even realize that my time is up. <laughs> Um, let me go ahead and roll the dice and see what's going on. Let's see what numbers we can pull here. We have nine. So we, we are dealing somewhat with a wounded warrior spirit at this time. There's something that just makes you kind of feel a little bit crazy, you know, but overall you're still trying to be very successful and it's going to lead to your change. If you just keep on, like if you're going through hell, why not just keep on going? Don't just stop and sit there like a sitting duck because it's still going to hurt. It's going to keep roasting you. You know what I mean? Kind of like get the get out of there, you know? So six and four, we have 10 here. And that will help you kind of close out this cycle. Um, 12, there's a, there is a, uh, somewhat of a really, this is somewhat of a very successful time for you. Um, especially during uh, 2022 and 2023. And it's not just the tarot that says all this, but um, just with the daily tarot that I do, I'm actually seeing um, a lot of success and potential overall. But with the 10 here, I'm really feeling like the world here, Phoenix energy. Um, it's really about you loving yourself, Aries. I cannot say it enough. And at this time, I definitely think we need to pull a stone card and see what can protect you at this time. Oh, wow. Lemurian Quartz, practice patience. I cannot make this up. Practice patience, Lemurian Quartz. Sagittarius energy. What with that temperance there well i was telling you about patience oh and find a way to forgive rhodonite so spirit is calling you right now to forgive a situation um when you're mad at someone you're like you're this way you're you're like this is why i don't like you why i don't want to be around you pretty much but at least you know how they are so find a way to forgive them for who they are because at least you know who they are and what they what they can do 
but you need to find a way to forgive those who trespass against you and kind of uh, null that energy, uh, nullify that, sever the, uh, the negative connection between you and someone, even from your past. It, it just doesn't serve you to hold on to negative emotions. Something we have opened the door and get out of your comfort zone. I'm feeling at this time, um, embrace change and one more, bring in the light. So a lot of you do need to get out right now. There is someone that you are going to run into with that, uh, with the, uh, <laughs> uh, with Jupiter here, uh, coming in this week. So, uh, it will be a lot of love at first sight energy. So for a lot of you, one door is closing for another one to open. All right. I did not pick your cards, right? This, this came out just like it, the way it did. I cannot make this up. You just really need to know your worth at this time. And with that Scorpio in reverse, I can almost see the tail like way up here and just like stinging some of you. I, it, and it don't matter if you've got a ton of money or no money. When things don't work out in your favor and you're rejected, no matter how much you want to call it protection, it stings. It stings really, really bad. And it is what it is. You know, but Aries, you know, you can say that you're resilient to uh, different things and you're strong, but sometimes change, uh, you know, better, you know, I can't say than every other sign, but yeah, maybe so. Aries, you know that things change overnight. Things can change in a blink of an eye. So we need to appreciate what's in the here and now and uh, that we we definitely teach those around us that that lesson. Um, well, you know, this is what I have for you, Aries. Um, please like and subscribe. I love each and every one of you. This is what I do. I. I'm totally impressed with the energy here, just have faith in humanity and be patient a lot of you love is coming and a lot of you uh, just loving yourself and a business looks quite successful for you right i'm jessica with expression personnel thank you so much for watching and do go on over to www.expressionpersonnel slash shop I got spiritual kits, coffee cups, and of course, posters and t-shirts and calendars and sweatshirts and so much more. All right. Thank you for watching.